Hello. What I wanted to run through today is a quick, effective way to calibrate the photo eyes in a drag strip configuration. The problem stems from when they're hooked up in tandem like that to this Y connect, the calibration knobs interact with each other. And so it doesn't take much effort to get one side so out of, um, out of calibration that the other side can't comp uh, compensate and you end up with a, uh, a frustrating situation where the LEDs won't come on at all. So first thing, step number one, is turn all your calibration controls full clockwise. Okay, now, if you can't retain and don't retain anything from this video, just remember this one thing. Calibrate them individually, one at a time. And so now you're going to want to turn counterclockwise till you get an LED, and then back off an eighth of a turn. And do the same for the other side. Eighth of a turn clockwise. And then go, go for the other one. Unhook one and hook up the other. Eight to the turn back. Counterclockwise. LED, eight to the turn. Now plug them both in, plug the other one back in, and uh, you're ready to rock. There is one last thing I want to show you though, real quick. And that is if you end up, if you back off too far, a phenomenon will happen where if you use winged cars that have a wing or open well, open wheel cars or spoilers, like this one has all three, what can happen is that front wing will trigger it, then enough light will come through the wheel well uh, to turn it off again, and then, and then the body of the car will trigger it. And this will give you double counting, and it also give you problems when you're staging. So you just need to recalibrate this pup again, get your LED on, turn it off an eighth of a turn, a full eight. You don't want it to flicker either on the edge of tripping or it will drive the machine crazy, but not too much more than an eighth. And then you get nice smooth pass each time, even the uh, rear spoiler, which can get quite large uh, with these uh, auto world cars that are getting these huge dragsters now that tend to want to uh, fool the eyes. But if you tweak them in right and you have a nice constant light source, uh, blue fluorescent is the best. I'm using these LED lights, low power, and they last a long time. And, uh, but incandescent light bulbs, the red spectrum, they are the least effective. So um, ambient daylight works great too, but you, you know, that fluctuates. You have bright days and you know, if you live in a rainy area or the sun goes behind a cloud. But that's why we make these the only tweakable uh, photo eyes in the world. So you can, you can work with, the, uh, with different lighting situations. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Laters.